Welcome to Bodmin General Station. Let's go solve this murder. Right guys, join us in today's episode when we're going to be talking about bears, trains and murder. So we're heading down to Mother Ivy's Bay. So we've just parked up in another National Trust car park and I've been doing my good deed for the day because we've got two cards. Every time I pay, if there's somebody at the meter, I pay for their parking with my uh, other membership card as well. So yeah, that's my good deed. I'll probably go to heaven now. But anyway, so we're going to go down to Mother Ivy's Bay and we'll see you there in just a minute. Look at this beach here. Look at this. I definitely recommend coming to this because you know what? It's actually a little bit sort of off the beaten track so it's not like a major one. There's quite a few people down there but not like to the point where you see it on some other beaches, you know, like say Crantock or something like that. But it's incredible, man. The rock formations are cool as well. It's like really, really nice. Yeah, really impressed. And a uh, person in the B&B recommended this to us. So yeah, can't remember a name, but thanks for that one. beach and stuff because we've got to go and get some lunch and we're on a bit of a time frame today because the next part of this video we're going to show you the lobster pot and then after that murder mystery and intrigue the vanishing lady and now as usual i'm waiting for the wife I'm trying to go slow even though we've got loads to do so i like to stretch out time to its infinite possibilities so we're at the lobster pot this is at the Pig, which is like a little chain of like semi-fancy hotels. So we're going to go check this out for my birthday and lunch, because today's my birthday if I didn't tell anybody. And I'm not telling you how old I am, because that would be rubbish. <laughs> so anyway, we'll show you a bit in here when we get in. Birthday beer. We'll try and be discreet. <laughs> Welcome to Bodmin General Station. Let's go solve this murder. Right guys, welcome for a night of murder and mystery on the steam train 5553. Who done it? We're gonna find out. Right, let's get on here. Let's go. I'm never gonna solve this. I've got no chance. Okay, my, my question is threefold. One, what was the model car that you were driving? Two, what was the name of the village? And three, uh, when landing in the Neely water, what did you do at your disadvantage car? Yeah. that these guys are living and I thought they're not just doing some Olympics stuff, obviously. Didn't sound like they were doing Olympics, did it? They were looking for the archaeological person and their assistant. And they said that those people, Pierce and Harper, their papers expired at midnight. But when the guard inspected the German people's papers, theirs also expired at midnight. Weird. Steiner, do you think me a fool? Yeah, well. Of course, I realise that the man Evans and his French companion are working for the British Secret Service. Well, that's the next paper. So it could be fake. 
Right, we've just got off the train and now we have to ask all the actors questions. But we're probably not going to do that, we're just going to eat a week. Because we, we haven't actually got any questions at this point. Acts, travel papers are none of your concern. Stay! Has you found her yet or seen her? Not a sign. Bill, have you checked everywhere? Everywhere she could have got in the time allowed. So, so far, I've got no idea who's done anything apart from shout at people like German dude. He's, actor, he's, he's aggressive. <laughs> he's aggressive. He's scaring me. That means it's yeah, it's a, what is it, a red herring. A red herring. A red herring there. Yeah, we'll have to wait till they actually die. But my money's on the. Um, yeah, actually, yeah, we don't know who's dead, so we, yeah, we don't actually know. Yeah, you have to solve it at the end. Thank you. Right, somebody just died. Some German geezer called Mex. And. Yeah, and he's got no glove in his hand because he took one off. So something kicked off and he took his glove off. But we do not know why. Let's find out in a bit. But I'm going to say that it's his assistant. Right, so we've definitely narrowed it down to two people at the train yard, weather. Yeah. Or Mr. Evans. Mr. Evans is very dodgy. But train yard, weather did lie about a lot. We go train yard, weather. We're going with weather. Oh, we should have just gone with the obvious one. We got it wrong. We initially got it right, then we changed it. Because um, we thought it was too obvious, but it turns out we were initially right. Turns out we should have just gone with the obvious. Yeah. But there you go, what are you going to do? Sometimes it is the obvious choice. It's a good laugh though. Yeah. And how much was it? About £26 each. And for £26? That was well worth Can't it. Can't go wrong. Yeah, that was so cheap. In case we didn't mention, the murder of Steiner. Steiner! Oh no, might have a bit of a disaster. Lewis has left his phone on the train. He's just run off and left me to try and find it. <laughs> Still not found it. Dave, you probably put it in the car. Unless somebody's picked it up. Well, maybe, but. but I mean, you can't really do much trivia if you can't get it up. Don't even tell me it's there. I've got you done like that when I got in. Oh, you'd be serious. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a douchebag. I've got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're in the traffic for bodies. Shame we're not going there, but we are heading to Fishtraw Beach to see if we can check out some of the surf comps. Yeah, man. We didn't actually get to see or get down to the beach where the surfing was. What we did get to see was about 5,000 kids wearing bucket hats which is good to know because I have a bucket hat which means I'm probably still in fashion so that's good I think actually even Lewis has a bucket hat as well don't you babe so that must mean we're still it, no. that must mean we're still young and cool so I don't wear just it, no. saying if we had made it to the festival and got parking we probably would have fitted in quite well so anyway that was fun at least we soaked up a bit of the body's vibe back in our little quiet Morgan path now because this is our new favorite spot in this area Gonna head for a coffee, do a little bit of last minute gift shopping, which is Lewis is gonna hate. Maybe go to Scoops, get an ice cream, and just chill out. And I'm hopefully gonna get the beach tent up, aren't we, babe? Because every time we go away, we never seem to get to use this beach tent that I bought. Yeah. So we're gonna buy a picnic, we're gonna set up our beach tent, and we're gonna sit in it. I'll see how windy it is first. Basically. Yeah, we've got rocks. Are you looking forward to your beach day? Not particularly, no. Are you being a little bit grumpy? Well, it's 
windy. It's not particularly nice weather. Yeah, so you can see who the grumpy one is out of the two of us. And whoever who just gets on with things, no matter what the weather is. Isn't that right, Lou? Yeah. I was just saying, you can tell who the grumpy one is. The, the grumpy one is out of the two of us. And the one that just gets on with things and makes the most of it. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. Today we'll be trialling this beach tent. Don't know where we got this from. I think, oh, Tesco's. <laughs> Says it on the front. <laughs> Tesco right. beach tent, beach shelter, SPF 50, costs about eight pounds, come with a ground sheet. This is probably more waterproof than our actual tent. Don't forget the Cornish pasties. Right, come on then. Today we're off to Constantine Bay. Someone recommended this from the National Trust at the other car park. So we thought we'd give this one a try today. Right, so Sal said, we're gonna put the beach tent up. It's like gale force winds out here. There's people out kite surfing. Check that out. Flying around all over the place. But no, sounds insisting we've got to put this up. That, <laughs> that is the situation right now. <laughs> maybe, just uh, maybe just let go of the side, see what happens. <laughs> right, I'm sorry, but we need to give that up as a bad job. Can you just get into the Look at the state of it. Bring the picnic down. Look at the state. <laughs> it's a feet. We're from the north, we don't give up. Right, get so this is the side bit. So that's going well, that's broken. Signing off from my glorious beach tent in a wonderful climate. I think that's us guys, so if you've made it to the end of the video, uh, we really appreciate you watching, and if you would like to see more, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next week.